So hi there everybody and welcome back to my Lasis video. I know that some of you are waiting for my video on my Capture Zone uh, new game mode that I've created and that's coming soon. I'm just ironing out a couple of bugs and I just need to do a little bit of play testing just to make sure that it's finished. Quite excited about it. It does look really good and I'm very happy with it um, but that's coming soon. But it has led me onto something else. Um, as I was doing it I realised that I haven't done a video on the tools that are available for Portal for beginners if they aren't aware of it or for more experienced people who've never come across it. So I'm going to go through that today because this is going to be very useful for us going forward. Many of you may be aware of these tools already and if you are this is either just a summary for you or something that you don't really need but if you aren't aware of these tools already and you want a little bit of information you want to see how these are going to be extremely useful to you if you are developing modes in portal then stay tuned this video is for you as always if you like this video if you get something useful out of it please do click the like button please subscribe i am nearly at 600 subscribers obviously it's going a little bit slower than i'd hoped but that's probably due to the fact that not many people are playing portal at the minute but they may well come back with the improvements and obviously if you can share this video if you know anyone that would benefit from knowing the information in this video please obviously share it as well so without further ado let's crack on and have a look at these tools that are available for portal Oh, here we are. We are on the bfportal.gg website. You can see the link at the top left hand corner. This is an extremely useful and great uh, website for sharing your portal experiences. And if you've never been here before, I really do urge you to. Many of you who watch my channel probably are fully aware of this website. But yeah, you can see at the top we've got these trending modes at the top. Um, it consists of all sorts of things. We can we can filter out the portal library. We're just going to pop into the prefabs. These are little bits of code that players have created or creators have created to allow you to copy their code and get little blocks of code that you can use in your own games. We've got menus galore up here. Some of these are very similar to the ones that I have created on my YouTube channel, but these are very useful. This uh, this I'm going to have a little look at uh, soon. This map detects a very, very useful block of code. You can see there's all kinds of stuff in there. Let's have a look at one of these things. We'll just click on compass to degrees objective. Let's say that I'm quite keen on using this. This creator, Zim, does quite a lot of good work and you can see that they've provided the experience code to edit it. We're going to click there and it's going to take us to their experience and you can see you will have seen this before no doubt you're viewing someone else's experience duplicate it to make edits of course that's not unusual so we're going to click there and you can see we've got save a copy if i click save a copy just take a moment and it has saved that experience and now i have a copy of that which i am able to edit and when you go back in you can see i'm no longer viewing somebody else's and that experience will appear in my experiences just underneath degrees towards objective so this is my copy of of that pre-made experience. Now that's all well and good, that's excellent. Uh, we can obviously go in and copy others' experiences if they give us the experience playground ID to make those changes. However, some of you might not be aware that hidden in this website, if I just click on the documentation up at the top, there is a browser extension which you can get for several different major browsers. I'm just click on the browser extension just here on the left hand side. It's going to take us to uh, Leonard F1989 or 1989, I'm going to guess his GitHub page. And down at the bottom, we can see this extension adds functionality to the BF2042 portal rules editor. And you can see that it adds all of these features to the editor. And we've got a Chrome Web Store installation we've got uh, an edge add-on we've got one for uh, mozilla firefox as well this particular extension adds so many features to portal that actually i'd be quite lost without it now i use it so regularly and more importantly if we want to share code with each other it's going to allow us to break through the experience limit of 25 so what we're going to do is we're just going to install this extension on chrome for now so you can see how that process works and then i'm going to show you the difference in portal in the rules editor between what you get when this uh, extension is installed and what it's like in its own plain vanilla version the one that you're probably used to if you've never installed this so we're going to go to the chrome web store we're just going to click on there this extension is free it's very easy to add so we are going to add this to chrome click add to chrome 
nice and simple. It can read and change your data on Battlefield Portal, portal.battlefield.com. We want it to be able to do that, so that's great. I'm going to add the extension. It's only got 382 users at the moment. I'm just going to close that, and we have that extension installed. Let's just have a quick look manage extensions and there it is it is currently running at the moment so it's now installed on chrome it really was as easy as that now to see the changes that this makes i'm just going to disable that extension so if at any point we want to turn off the extension we can do uh, we can just click uh, the off or we can turn it back on again you can see at the top we've got this extensions button at the top uh, in chrome that's how we access them so we're just going to turn this extension off um, before we start so we're going to get a feel for what the portal looks like in its standard version without the extension running. So I'm going to go into Battlefield Portal. I'm going to take one of my experiences. Let's go here and modify this one. And we are just going to pop ourselves into the rules editor. Here we go. Okay, so this is the little block of code that we may have seen before, which just gives us a position on a map. So here we go. We'll just get rid of that at the bottom, shall we? Okay, so if I right click in this empty space just here, you will see that I can just delete 28 blocks. So you can see we've got undo redo clean up blocks or delete 28 blocks those are the options that we've got if we just look up here i'm going to right click there you can see we can duplicate we can get help on that block that just shows us the thing at the side that we used to and we can uh, what else can we do we can delete the 28 blocks if we want to and those are the standard kind of options that we get in the plain version of portal not very many options one might argue that that's all that we need, but let's have a look what happens when we enable the portal extension modification for Chrome. Now to get to it, you can see the little extension uh, icons disappeared. That's fine. If you're not used to using Chrome, we can just get to it through more tools and we're going to go into extensions just down here because this is where they are all installed. Here is the portal extension and I am now going to enable the extension. So it's now available in the portal rules editor let's get rid of the extension screen let's go into portal let's right click at the moment it's not showing now there's a good reason for that can anybody think what the reason might be yeah we probably just need to refresh the page to make sure that that editor is now enabled so if you don't see the options just refresh get yourself ready okay so now we're going to do the same thing again but we're going to see a brand new list of functions let me just take this blank space just here and right click and now all of a sudden look at all of these new options that we've got available so the first one add block the top we can choose from the list on the right hand side you can see just here these are all the blocks that are available we can choose from those i've got to say i'm not a big fan of that add block function because i do like the colored options down the left hand side but if you wanted to you could do we've got this uh sorry that just disappeared we've got this standard block from before these are all the kind of things that we had before we can collapse all blocks let's see what happens when we do that and you can see this just disappears and it kind of shrinks it down into one now this is brilliant if you've got a huge experience to look at and if I just open one of my other experiences for a moment one of my bigger ones let's have a look at um, that one actually let's just modify the one that we chose from earlier um, we'll go into the rules editor so this one's slightly bigger you can see we've got quite a few blocks down there let's right click and let's collapse all the blocks it takes a moment, but you can see it shrinks everything down to its uh, main component. So if you're struggling to see what's going on on your screen, the collapse all blocks option is quite a good one. Just leave that one. Go back into my X, Y, Z option. Modify, it says X, Y, Z, X. I'm not sure why that says that. Obviously named it incorrectly. Um, right, okay, so what other options have we got in here? Well, we've got um, expand all blocks. Obviously that just expands a block. Um, let's go there we've got open documentation toggle distraction free mode that kind of gets rid of the left hand side so we can just see the editor let's bring that back on there we go we've also got toggle toolbox that removes the toolbox at the side and we can remove that and we can remove the distraction free mode and we get a whole load more real estate to deal with in the rules editor fantastic if that's what you want Okay, just uh, open those back up again. And last but not least, and this is something that I really want everybody to pay attention to because uh, I'm going to start sharing code this way. I'm going to show you this 
Um, the issue with the portal rules editor is that you've only got 25 experiences and you very quickly run out of those and I've, I've kind of hit a limit there. If I'm doing a YouTube channel and I'm trying to share experiences with people, I'm very quickly going to run out of experiences where I can keep that code saved. This is a huge bonus to me and we have got export blocks. If I click the export blocks button, we can either export the blocks as an image download, we can export it to our clipboard, we can export it as an SVG file, and we can also export it as a JSON file. If we export it as a JSON file, we are going to be able to import that into new experiences. Now later on, in another video, I'm going to show you this export of JSON and how I'm going to use it. JSON just stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's basically a text file, so it takes all of the code that you've written and exports it into a specially formatted text file that then you can use to import into other experiences. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into that uh, later on, not in this particular video because this is just an overview of the tools, but it really is just as easy as clicking on that it will download it let's open this file and have a little look see what we get um, just take a second to open it so i've just skipped ahead and you can see that this is that file that's now open you can see it's just a specially formatted text file and if we had the ability to import this into our experiences we'd be able to recreate any experience or any set of rules from these now it doesn't export uh, you know map settings and stuff like that this is just simply for the rules editor um, but if you want to share your code with someone else one way is to share the playground id the other way is to install the uh, portal extension export any code that you've created as a json file and then if you're able to import that into other experiences you've got a way of sharing the code so now what's really cool is of course that the editor comes with the ability to import the blocks from the JSON file. Um, just while I had made a quick edit there, I've just moved the file that I've saved to somewhere else so that it's in the right place. So I'm just gonna delete this rule entirely. Let's just get rid of that, delete all 28 blocks. There we go. So we're now left with a blank mod and I'm gonna save it just so we can be absolutely crystal clear um, that there have been no further edits. And I'm gonna load up the JSON file that I saved from earlier. So rather than saving it as an experience, we're going to back it up to that little text file. I'm going to click import blocks from JSON. This is the file that we saved earlier. We're going to click there and click open. There we go. It's going to say, do you want to remove all existing blocks before importing? Well, it can do, but I've already removed them just to prove the point, I suppose. Click OK. And there we are back from our save ready to go again so you can see using that tool that's one of the most useful tools that this whole extension has if you ask me this ability to export your rules to a text file and then import those later on you want to back things up you want to share code with other people this is a brilliant facility to do it and i say i've got an additional video coming shortly that's just going to show you how i'm going to use this feature going forward for the benefit of everyone so let's have one final little tour as well what else have we got on here if we click there um, you can see that we used to only have four options but we have some additional ones we've got this uh, collapse block so we can collapse single blocks if we want to uh, let's expand that block again we can just collapse that block if we want to so you can see we just reduce the size of that while loop and obviously if you're developing something that's got a lot of code on there and it's kind of getting a little bit hard to see what's what being able to collapse blocks is a brilliant thing and also some people I'm not a big fan of this I have to say it's not my preferred way of viewing things in the editor but if you really like it, you can also show the inputs vertically you can do that with all of them so that's for this rule uh, we can do the same one with this one if we want to show inputs vertically uh, you can see that it just kind of you get more of a vertical look rather than a horizontal look it can be quite difficult when you're looking at some of these things and viewing it horizontally so you can see it's showing the message who it's for and what have you underneath uh, for me i'm not a big fan of that to be honest um, but i know a lot of people do prefer to view things that way not necessarily for me but might be for you right that's a nice gentle introduction to the portal extension for Chrome, it's also available for Edge and Firefox. It is a brilliant addition. If you've not downloaded and installed it, please do. There really is no reason not to, to be honest. Uh, one last little look then, if we want to disable uh, this extension, we can do. I'm just gonna go back into Manage Extensions. Let's remove it. It's gone um, at the moment, of course, because we haven't refreshed the browser, it's gonna still be there. Let's have a look what we look like before we installed the little extension. We're going to right click. You can see that's our old menu. You, we can't import anything 
Uh, there's very little there. Let's drag across that. Let's just get that on there. Let's drag in a new rule. Let's do that. We don't get any of those additional options, uh, no options to collapse or anything like that or export. The minute that we put our browser extension on, I'm gonna go through there, more tools, extensions, enable the portal extension. Let's close that, give it another refresh, reload. We get our portal extension back and all of the benefits that come with that. I particularly like the distraction free and toggle toolbox mode to be honest because that allows me to see a lot more on the screen. Really good for me when I'm recording my videos. Let's import our blocks from JSON. We'll get back where we were. Okay. And that's us back to where we were before we've just loaded a code up from that text file, even though we hadn't saved it or we'd forgotten to. Brilliant set of tools. I'll be sharing something with you shortly about how we are going to use them on this channel. Uh, just going to take a slight change of direction to help you all a little bit more. Yeah, if you've not got it installed, get it installed now. And obviously the website itself that it comes from, um, you know, lots and lots of experiences. There are prefabs that you can already use, other game modes. I urge you, if you've not looked there, brilliant place to look for um, extensions for the rules editor. Uh, and if nothing else, brilliant place to look also for game modes that other people have created and try them out to yourself. Why not submit some of your game modes to it as well? Right, as always, if you've uh, found this video useful, it was a bit more for um, beginners who were just starting out. If it's been brilliant for you, if it's your first time on my channel and you've not subscribed yet, please do. Um, I really, really would like to achieve 1,000 subscribers um, and then maybe the adverts that YouTube keeps showing on my channel I might actually get some benefit from. We'll wait and see. Uh, yeah, 1,000 subscribers I'm looking for. Every subscribe really helps. If you've enjoyed this video, click the like button. Uh, and obviously, if you really like it, click share. And don't forget to uh, click on follow to get updates when the next video is out, which hopefully will be soon. Thanks for listening to me again today. Hope you found it useful. Until later on. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.